Long lines of cliff breaking have left a chasm, and in the chasm are foam and yellow sands. Beyond, red roofs about a narrow wharf in cluster, then a mouldered church, and higher a long street climbs to one tall towered mill, and high in heaven behind it a grey down with Danish barrows, and a hazel wood by autumn nutters haunted flourishes green in a cup like hollow of the down. Here on this beach, a hundred years ago, three children of three houses. Annie Lee, the prettiest little damsel in the port. And Philip Ray, the miller's only son. And Enoch Arden, a rough sailor's lad made orphan by a winter shipwreck. Played and built their castles of dissolving sand to watch them overflowed. A narrow cave ran in beneath the cliff. In this the children played at keeping house. Enoch was host one day, Philip the next, while Annie still was mistress. But at times Enoch would hold possession for a week. This is my house, and this my little wife. Mine too, said Philip. Turn and turn about. When, if they quarrelled, Enoch's stronger maid was master. Then would Philip, his blue eyes all flooded with the helpless wrath of tears, shriek out, I hate you, Enoch! And at this, the little wife would weep for company and pray them not to quarrel for her sake and say she would be little wife to both. Mm -hmm. 